The pergola was constructed almost 15 years ago with sculpted concrete columns topped with cedar wood framing that supports two grapevines. I always like to sketch out ideas for a project beforehand to help me work through the concept towards a final vision. We decided on final dimensions and placement of the columns and then staked out the area. The sod was removed and we used an auger to dig four foot deep holes to accommodate the 12 inch sono tubes for the column foundations. A hole is dug in the center for the future water feature, which will be both below and above ground. The columns are poured in eight inch sono tubes. Painted rebar is used for added strength inside the columns. The wooden bracing keeps them stable and plumb during the concrete pour. The cardboard tubes are removed and 6x6 six six cedar beams are placed on top of the columns. A large diameter sona tube is used to form the outside dimensions of the water feature. The concrete is padded into the insides of the sona tube to form the base and sides. The shaping of the columns begins with building up the bulbous areas near the base. Hardware cloth is used to contain the concrete and add strength. After each application of concrete, the areas are wrapped in plastic to slow the curing process. A layer of gravel is added to form the base of the patio below. A trench is dug to supply the area with electricity. The beams are given a coat of stain and landscape edging is added to form the circular outline. The shaping of the upper part of the columns begins with the addition of a metal armature. Holes were drilled in the columns for the steel rod that was then wrapped in hardware cloth. The construction of the roof continues with the addition of hand cut rafters. More layers of concrete smooth out the bases of the columns. The work on the upper columns continues as the armature is filled out with concrete. Layer upon layer of concrete is added to build up the final shape of the columns. Slurry and bonding agents allow the layers to adhere to the poured columns. Plastic coverings provide the slow cure that will ensure a strong result. As a final detail, many sculptural elements are added to the columns, such as birds, frogs, dragonflies, and flowers. The final columns before the acid stain is added. Notice that the base of the columns have a lighter color of concrete for added interest. And finally, acid stain in several colors transforms the gray concrete. And the laying of the flagstone patio underneath the pergola begins. A sturdy pair of gloves is required for this kind of work. Two kinds of sealers are used over the finished product. A penetrating sealer is applied to the columns, temporarily darkening them. Another surface sealer of lacquer will also be used.
the finished project, months in the making, begins to come together. The two grapevines are planted. This one was chosen for its disease resistance. By its second year, the grapevine has begun to cover the roof of the structure. These photos show the placement of the pergola on the property. Much of the surrounding turf grass has since been removed. The landscape around the pergola has evolved and matured. The pergola adds structural interest in all seasons. Every spring the grapevine is pruned back hard by about two-thirds. Early in the summer, the small clusters of grapes are thinned out as they produce more than we could possibly use. Tree crickets like to inhabit the grapevine canopy. The sounds they make on late summer evenings can be deafening. Another inhabitant of the canopy is the large grapevine beetle. And birds like to nest in the canopy as well. <laughs> 